for the first six months of the last year, but not the last six months, I was working on uh, Crest Humanities. Oh. You all know Crest Humanities, right? <coughs> yes. Of course. No, not at all. No, not at all. Well, you should have gone to GPW. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like the Rosetta Stone, you know. Something that's uh, a comparative piece to learn a language, right? Like there's a site that has Hello World in 441 languages. And that's a fine site. And there's another one that has 99 volumes here and uh, over 400 <coughs> languages. But that's all single problems, single things you're trying to solve. Uh, there's a site called Rosetta Stuff, excuse me, Rosetta Code that has, uh, I don't know, nearly a thousand different problems and several hundred languages, and you can compare uh, the solutions for various languages or get a sense of, for this language, how do you solve a, a variety of problems? Or get a sense of, do I want to take a job working in this language that I've never worked in before? For example, to do anagrams, this is this, all for the same problem of anagrams, this is the solution that uh, is on the site for vb.net. And this should be, it's not always, but it should be a good characteristic use of the language, using everything the way it's supposed to be used. That's it for Java, that's better, certainly. Bigger problems. That's the Perl 5 solution, that's admirable. Um, there's a whole lot of Perl 5 out there. I happen to be working on the Perl 6 stuff. That's the Perl 6 one. <laughs> but you're all here for Perl 5. Oh, and I don't want to work in J. That, that is enough to tell me that I don't want to work in J. That's awesome. And that's a real language. It's not a joke like brain thought. It's They really use that on Wall Street. What about law code? Pardon? What about law code? If it's not there, you're, it's wiki style, so you're free to add it. And they're, you know, your language of choice should uh, should definitely be on there. But your language of choice is probably Perl. Do the demo versions PL log code? Pardon? Do the most of the We're taking up his time. Give him his five minutes. So, um, <laughs> you see here, these are my stats on how many solutions each one has, top 20. It was Perl 6. I, trying to improve that, and uh, several other people are, are doing great jobs with that since I uh, dropped out. And uh, you know, these guys, they're, we, we want to be good compared to them. There's Perl, and there's Ruby, and there's Python, and there's Tickle. <laughs> tickle? <laughs> we can do better than Tickle. There are very few solutions on there, uh, very few problems on there that you can't have a, a Perl solution for it. I don't see why we can't have nearly everything. Now, since I did that, uh, we've updated some. Uh, I haven't updated this in the last six months, but see, Perl's better. Perl 6 is better. Tickle's still number one. <laughs> Python and Ruby are still above us. So, if you, if you find this site of use, great. I'm glad you heard it from me. I'm glad you heard it, period. Um, use it to compare languages. But let me tell you, the Perl code in some of the solutions, the Perl 5 code, is not modern Perl. It is not something we as a community would be proud for somebody to come look and say, that's, that's the way people are supposed to be using Perl. So if you have a little uh, uh, spare time, yeah, in your copious free time, right. uh, brush up on your, your Wikipedia style editing skills and go uh, show some of those solutions some love. The community will thank you for it. And Donnie, thank you. <laughs>